Welcome to the Primavera Online High School and Middle School Community Tutorial. In order to access the community, students must first log in to the Parent Student Portal through the Primavera website at www.gothighschool.com or www.gotmiddleschool.com. In the top right corner, enter your username and password and then click Log In. Once you've entered the PSP, you'll be taken to your student dashboard. To enter the community, simply click on the Community tab found in the side navigation panel. When you enter the community for the first time, a page with terms and conditions will appear. You can choose to print this by clicking the Print button. To continue along, scroll down and click the I Agree button. Let's start by helping you set up your new community profile. To access the community settings, click on the Preferences icon at the top of the page and select Community. You can also reach these settings by clicking Edit Profile on your homepage. Students can add a photo of themselves to their community profile that is different than their student ID. To add a new photo to your profile, click Choose File and select the image you'd like to add. Your picture will appear in the small box in the middle of the screen and can be edited to your liking. Once you've moved the cropping box to its correct position, select Crop to save the image. But remember, before any image can be seen by other community members, the photo must first be approved by Primavera. If a student wishes to, they can turn off their community profile. To turn off your community profile, click on the Turn Off Community button underneath Community Settings. Students can choose what information other members of the Primavera community can view on their profile by following the privacy settings. Settings can be set to Public, Friends, and Me Only. Authorized users can also decide if they'd like their student to have access to the community and override the settings their student has set for the community. To make changes, click the Edit icon in the top right corner of the dashboard and view the privacy settings below. An additional tab will be available to authorize users beneath the privacy settings that says Lock your student's privacy settings. By clicking On, it will prevent your student from changing the settings you have chosen. It's also important to mention that an authorized user's view of the community will be very similar to that of their students, except that an authorized user's view will be in a read-only format. Primavera students can also submit their student ID photos and request a new student ID card directly through the community while in the community settings. Just click the Student ID tab and follow the same steps for selecting a student ID photo as before when choosing your community profile picture. After you've selected and cropped your ID photo, click Request a new student ID. Once again, all Primavera student ID photos must be approved by the school. Notifications provide moderator feedback, updates on action with your homepage, users can navigate to another community member's page, a group page, view a comment, or accept a friend request. In the community, students can post status updates on their profile to share with friends. Students will be able to see their own posts, replies to their posts, statuses and posts made by their friends, along with posts made by groups they belong to. On the homepage, users will be able to see a student's full profile, including their About Me, a list of friends, interests, and groups they've joined. Once again, students can update their statuses here. Students are also encouraged to fill in the About Me section on their profile and share information about themselves with other members of the community. About Me descriptions are limited to 200 characters. To search for and add new friends, enter their name into the search bar. Under their name and beside their picture will be an icon that says Friend and the friend's name. Click this icon to send a friend request. If someone has sent you a friend request, you will see this in your notifications. Click the Accept or Deny button. A list of all groups that you've joined will appear below Home page in the side navigation panel for the community. If there's any new activity in one of these groups, a blue box with a number will appear beside the group name. Simply click on the box to receive the latest group updates. If you have any further questions about the community, please contact your student advisor.